And there's the man that holds the gold. Finally put an end to a bloody feud with Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. It culminated in an incredible matchup, one for the ages. We'll never forget the night that Cabana finally defeated Pierce and took home the gold. But now, winning the gold is one thing, defending it is something entirely different. It, a whole new set of challenges emerge for Colt Boom Boom Cabana as Joey Ryan, the first man to challenge Cabana here in Hollywood for that 10 pounds of leather and gold around his waist. Let's go up to Angelo Trinidad for the official announcements. Todd, both you and I know Joey Ryan very well, and I want to see if you've noticed this. His mannerisms are completely different. He is a man just, I mean, he is focused like I've very rarely seen Hollywood's own Joey Ryan ever before. Joey Ryan looks like he's about to just absolutely jump out of his skin. He is dead serious here. Are we going to see a shake of the hands, some sportsmanship? And what a different story in recent weeks between these two. Joey Long Ryan waves, friends. waves off the handshake. This is all business between these two men. Joey Ryan wanting no part of that. The fr friendship put aside, the title is all that matters. Both men lock up here, collar and elbow tie up. Now Joey Ryan, he's come close in the past. He had title matches against Scrap Iron Adam Pierce, came within an eyelash of taking the gold, didn't get it done. Does he question himself at this point? Does he think, maybe can I not win the big one? And likewise, Cole Cabana finally wins the championship, now must defend it. Is he, this could be one of the shortest title reigns in NWA history. Joey Ryan can't afford to get up in his head. The title, I mean, he has to look at it as the title is Cabana's to lose. I mean, it, that's, that's the, the way, I mean, the way he has to think about it. That, I mean, there's, there's numerous ways that Joey Ryan can take the title away from Cabana. He just has to figure it out. Cabana, I mean, he's got to do everything in his power to try to keep the title around his waist. I mean, the, the advantage is almost certainly in the hands of the challenger in situations like this. Yeah, but then you think about the champion's advantage as well. Not that that really comes into play when you think of the integrity of the current champion, Cole Cabana. He wants to be the better man. He wants to win the match. But quite frankly, Joey Ryan has to defeat Cole Cabana by pinfall or submission to take the championship away. That is not the case for Cole Cabana to hold on to it. That is true. But, you know, I am going, going back to what we discussed earlier. I am startled by... Uh, by how Joey Ryan is approaching this match. He's on the outside, it almost looks like he's giving himself pep talks. I mean, Joey Ryan, typically when he wrestles, he is supremely confident. And now, almost looking like he's gonna retreat. Now back in the ring, but runs right into a series of big right hands by the reigning champion, Cole Cabana. Reversal now, look at the quickness by the champ, rolls him up. Here's the cover, looking for the quick win is Cabana. Now, beautiful deep arm drag. Cabana hits him with the arm drag and sinks it in, putting the pressure on the shoulder of Joey Ryan. You know, normally, Joey Ryan and Cole Cabana, two huge fan favorites here on NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. In a normal circumstance, I would, I would wonder who the crowd would side with in a matchup like this, but given 
the the shocking new attitude of Joey Ryan, I think maybe that makes up the mind of the fans here tonight. Actions speak louder than words, but in Joey's, Joey Ryan's case, inaction spoke louder than words as he just allowed Stu Stone, Stu Stone and uh, James Morgan to assault the world's champion. And so, I mean, he just let it go. And I think the crowd, the crowd picked up on that. Joey Ryan, he was completely, completely able to stop that assault from happening, but he just let it go. And the crowd, I think, lost quite a bit of respect for Joey Ryan because of his inaction. Lust for the gold, that burning desire to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Sliding through is Cole Cabana and right back again into the arm drag. And this may just cause further frustration for Hollywood uh, for Hollywood's own. Now Cole Cabana's got Joey Ryan all tied up. Looks like a three and one that he's picked up in uh, wrestling south of the border. Colt Cabana very famous for, for his submission wrestling, his catch as catch can style. Now Joey Ryan fighting his way back up to his feet. Gets to the bottom rope, forcing the break of the hold. Great move there by Joey Ryan. Does not break clean though. And this new Joey Ryan continues taking advantage of the referee's placement. Wow, this looks more and more like the relentless Joey Ryan of old. Joey Ryan keeping the pressure up on Colt Cabana. Cabana though shrugs off the, the pinfall attempt from Joey Ryan kicking out at two. Joey Ryan, you know, as of late, usually we see the, the fun, loving, jovial competitor, great competitor, but, wow, I mean, the attitude is just, is just shocking. He is, it's like he's got ice water running through his veins. The only thing I can think of is that Joey Ryan approached his match with Adam Pierce, and he thought, hey, I know I can beat Pierce. I know I can become world champion and he wasn't able to do it, so he kind of changed up his strategy. Now that there's a new champion, now that there's a new king on the throne, he sees another opportunity to kind of prove himself, and maybe he sees Colt Cabana as a bit of a, bit of a weaker link than Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce, of course, known for his aggression, known for his willingness to break the rules, whereas Colt Cabana, by all accounts, is a do-gooder. I, I, I've rarely, if ever, seen Colt Cabana break the rules of a professional wrestling match. Into the cover, look out here. And so Joey Ryan sees an opportunity to take advantage of that. I mean, he saw what, you know, the, the war between Adam Pierce and Colt Cabana that pushed both men to their limits. And so maybe if Joey Ryan can emulate Adam Pierce in some respect, then he'd be able to prevail over, over Colt Cabana. Maybe the, the best of both worlds of jo Joey Ryan and Adam Pierce. Well, and Joey Ryan, when he teamed with Carl Anderson, he was part of a stable with Scrap Iron Adam Pierce. It seems like ancient history now, but. Those two see, used to run the road together. And also, we'll never forget that night that Cabana won the World Heavyweight title. Joey Ryan was in the ring. He had to take it all in. He had to witness it. He was part of the celebration, yes. But did that rub, did that grind on Joey Ryan a little bit? Perhaps did he look at Cole Cabana and say, why isn't that me? Oh, undoubtedly. I mean, it was pretty much death by a thousand cuts for, Colt Cabana, or for Joey Ryan when Colt Cabana won that title. You know, he... He beats, he beats Adam Pierce. This, this long and storied feud between Cabana and Pierce comes to an end. And, uh, and, then, and then there was the, the milk that was passed out. The fans enjoying, enjoying the milk, the, the wrestlers enjoying the milk. Just insult to injury for Joey Ryan. That could have been me, but now these, these rubes, these idiots are just drinking milk because this guy did what I couldn't do. Into the cover now, but maybe he can do it tonight with this newfound intensity that he is displaying. Almost scary-like focus here by Joey Ryan as now he's measuring the champion. Up to the second rope. What's he gonna unleash here, Excalibur? It looks like he's just waiting for Colt Cabana to come to him. Joey Ryan, this could be his first big mistake of the match, and indeed it was, allowing the champion to get back up to his feet to regain some modicum of composure and to gain the upper hand, well maybe not the upper hand, but to level the playing field for this matchup. Crowd now once again coming to life, urging on, well you would think both men, but most likely Cole Cabana, a series of chops here now by Cabana. 
Again, winding it up, gonna turn it loose. Yes, turns him inside out. Cole Cabana's first title defense. How much does the pressure weigh on him? Cabana, every time I see him, he's in a great mood. He's just happy to be here. But I mean, you gotta know, I mean, we, we all have those thoughts. We all have those self-doubts, no matter the face we put onto the outside. And I think Colt Cabana, he's human, just like the rest of us. He has to, he has to wonder, but he's also a human that does the flying apple that got reversed by Joey Ryan. Charging out of the corner. Physical, incredible counter there to the flying apple. Joey Ryan knew it was coming. Hits the spear, and now referee Rick Noss, Knox administering a double count. I don't want to see a count out here. We want to see a winner. Title on the line. Joey L Ryan now into the cover, trying to put him away. New champion, only a count of two. And folks, I'm told we've got to go for a break. We'll be back with more of our main event title matchup right after this. Welcome back everyone to NWA Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, the NWA World's Heavyweight title up for grabs. The steely-eyed Joey Ryan has got the champion wrapped around the ring post. A referee, Rick Knox, administering a count and through the break, it's been all Joey Ryan. After countering the flying apple with the spear, he's been in the driver's seat. Everything's coming up Joey, and now he's got, he's got he had Cabana in the corner. He's putting the pressure on the midsection of Colt Cabana, stretching him across that ring post, compounding the damage done by that initial spear with two consecutive other spears, and he had him on the ring post. Joey Ryan might have cracked one of Colt Cabana's ribs. Joey Ryan lifted him off his feet, but now the sunset flip outside inside by Cabana, but a knee right to the midsection, turns things right around for Joey Ryan. And are you surprised? that it's the challenger, Joey Ryan, that has really dictated the pace in this championship contest. Well, knowing both men, having been in the ring with both men, it's, it's a very tough call. But yes, I am surprised because Colt Cabana, I've never won a wrestling match against Colt Cabana. I've won a couple against Joey Ryan. And so, I mean, in my, in, you know, in my limited scope, I would say that Colt Cabana is the tougher competitor. That's why he is currently the NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. That's not to take anything away from Joey Ryan, the challenger, but it's just in my personal experience. I think Colt Cabana is slightly better than Joey Ryan, but right now Joey Ryan doing everything to prove me wrong. Joey Ryan trying to change that, that's for sure. Repeated pin attempts forcing Colt Cabana to use his energy to kick out, and Cabana, that adrenaline, Flowing through his body, he's back up again. Cabana's so resilient. I mean, when you think about all that Pierce put him through and he couldn't derail him from finally winning that title, what can Joey Ryan possibly hope to do to, to take out Cabana tonight? Adam Pierce and Colt Cabana very much an unstoppable force, immovable object scenario. And this, this title match is, well, you know, I mean, it doesn't have the history, doesn't have the, the backstory that the Adam Pierce Colt Cabana match had, it is it is matching it. I mean, on every level, in in terms of intensity, in terms of uh, you know attempts attempts to defeat the other man, attempts to, to injure the other man. As we see Joey Ryan putting the point of his elbow on those injured ribs of Colt Cabana. Yeah, while well, holding him in the abdominal stretch, very painful move there by Joey Ryan, trying to power out now as Cabana, and he does. But the hiplock takeover there. Joey Ryan back up there again though, and Joey Ryan seems the fresher of the two, but at least until he runs into that huge clothesline. Joey Ryan hit him with a knee lift, but Colt Cabana countered with a desperation clothesline. And I think a, I think a tooth from the mouth of Hollywood's own might have landed in the rafters here at the Showcase Theater. Yeah, that was absolutely just a devastating clothesline took him right off his feet, but both men feeling the effects of this grueling matchup that has been so physical, so personal, and both men now up and are gonna trade. Who's gonna get the best of this exchange with the title on the line? These two men slugging it out. I've taken punches from both men, and the only reason I know that is because I saw it on video after the fact. <laughs> I don't remember a single one of them. Well, we know who 
The Showcase Theater is back in now, and a bionic elbow, bionic elbow takes him down. Chop and Cole Cabana, the champion, rallying here, seemingly out of nowhere, scooping up Joey Ryan. What's he gonna do with him? Big wind-up scoop and a slam. Cabana up to the middle rope. The big splash. This has got to be it. Successful title defense? No, not yet. Joey Ryan able to kick out, showing just how important this match is. I mean, we, we talked at length about his focus, and so far, that focus has not been deterred. Sure, he's changed his tactics, but he is still dead set on becoming the new NWA World's Heavyweight Champion. Back and forth, seesaw battle, the stakes as high as they could possibly be on this program. It's been back and forth, and yet again, Cabana trying to go up top. He was countered and caught here by Joey Ryan. Cabana, he's not a small guy, close to seven feet tall, approximately 422 pounds. When he comes crashing down on you with that moonsault press, it is like a ton of bricks on top of 10 tons of bricks. Well, that was the tail of the tape, I dare say, a tall tail of the tape. But superplex off the top, into the cover now. Joey Ryan reaches, pulling for the leg. Cabana kicks out yet again, but how much do each of these men have left? How much could they possibly have left? The like, super, superplex is a dangerous move, Todd, because it, I mean, it affects both men, not equally, but I mean, it's pretty much a 70-30, a maybe 60-40 ratio. But now Cole Cabana reverse and going for the Billy Goat's curse. Kicked him off though. Roll up, we're gonna have a new champion. Very, very close within a, a fraction of a heartbeat, but Colt Cabana got his shoulder up, and Joey Ryan catches a kick to the side of the head for his troubles. Cabana not to be deterred going up yet again, thinking Tornado DDT, but the challenger has seemingly countered him every step of the way now into the spine buster. He's telling Colt Cabana to get up after he set him down with that vicious spine buster. And look at this intensity coming out of Joey Ryan. He knows he is within three heartbeats of winning the Sh NWA championship. Shades of the machine gun with the spine buster, but his aim was not true with the super kick into the belly goat's curse. Center of the ring, Joey Ryan shaking his head. No, he does not want to see this opportunity go down the tubes. But what can he do to counter at this point? Oh, and he taps out. Colt Cabana successfully retains the NWA World Heavyweight Championship for the first time here in Hollywood, California. And what a hard fought title defense it was. Credit the champion for coming away with the win and taking home the gold because his opponent came in prepared, he came in focused, Joey Ryan was as serious as a heart attack, but he just couldn't get the job done. Todd, I have to wonder, not to take anything away from Cabana's huge victory here, but how is this loss, how is his second consecutive loss in two title shots going to affect Joey Ryan mentally? I hope that Joey Ryan is able to rebound, but that loss just might send him off the edge. And Cabana, despite being the victor, also being the bigger man, offering the hand to Hollywood's own Joey Ryan. Come on, Joey. Shake his hand. It was a great contest. Your day will come. Tonight wasn't your night, but no, he turns his back on him and he walks away again.